What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Greedfall. This episode, we're going to be going and going to be uh, headed after the Peculiar Alliance quest. So, there's a lot to explore over here. But I don't think that's... Wait a minute, is that... That's a skill altar. Run! Run! Never mind. Nope. I was gonna say some big thing about, no, I'm not gonna get distracted by all this stuff over here. But then I saw the skill altar and my entire mission has changed. The heck with their alliance. I need my skills. This should be... Wait a minute, this isn't it. Yes, it is. This is it. Get out of my way! Get, get out of my way! Get out of my way! No! Get out of my way! Get out of here! Well, you wanna... Get out of here! Wow, we just monstered these things. Oh. <laughs> you thought so. <laughs> here. This skill altar. Give it here. Mine now. No, that's not it. Wait a minute. I need I need my science armor. Where's my science armor? Sky and armor. Yes. Kablam! Get out of my way. <laughs> yes. Give me that skill point. Excellent. Hold on, which one of these do I normally wear? This one. <laughs> this one right here. Any other loot here? Anything? Whatever, I guess. Fine. So we're going to be taking Ulan's offer over to Hikmet. People aren't going to be exactly happy about this. Hold on. I want to check a thing. Hold on. Hold on. I want to check a thing. Skills. One, I got a new skill. That's good. Get some stagnation. That gets us longer effects on our stasis. Bottom boom. 9.6 seconds. Feeling good. Or puts us one point away from corrosive emanation. That's huge. That's uh, almost 200 points of armor off of an enemy for standard enemies, and then for the big boys, it's not much, but whatever. Uh, okay, so the Kurt thing only affects us, it would seem, when we actually have Kurt following us. So we're going to go back to this camp, we're going to get Kurt, and we're going to upgrade our equipment real quick, because we did get those fancy new weapons from uh, the bit of exploration that we had there. Sure, we'll get rid of this one. Cool. Now then, can I finally break... Oh my god, I can finally break that to bandit hands. Oh my gosh. Finally. Yes, we shall go here... We should upgrade Siora's weapon so that it does not suck bunions any further. Uh, da, 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 gather the companions. You there, Mr. Kurt. Kurt, my friend. You go away. I need Kurt. Okay. Now then, I must go over here. And I must see... Not you, not you. You! This. What can we do with this? I could add a bunch of armor damage to this thing, but I don't know if that's actually the right choice. Uh, you know what? I like this brass shell guard. I like that better. I want to see what the... Just... Yeah, yeah, we can work with that. That'll be fine. So her sword is technically just a... Pretty smidgen better than, uh, what's his faces? 
the, the one dude mans. His is not as good, but it's it's getting there. I don't need that any further. Wow, my pistol sucks. I'm not investing in accuracy though. Not a chance. Compose my team. Vasco's friendly, Kurt is friendly, Siora's nice. Petrus is nice. Not quite there though. Uh as we don't need craftsmanship from Kurt, and Vasco is incredibly helpful with that. Honestly, Petrus would be a fantastic one to have with us eventually. Uh, get him to a friendly status and then keep Petrus with us. Have Petrus and uh, Vasco, potentially. Or have uh, Petrus and the other... I can't remember the gosh dang name of the person, but they're, they're from the... Of course, we're going to have them because they are uh, the uh, these people, the Bridge Alliance. That's the one. I can words. Hold on. Oh, hello. You're telling me you're selling. Oh. Oh. What's that thing? What? What? What's this thing? What the? Ooh. 450 gold. <clears throat> I didn't do that. Let's see. The obsidian is 33. Jeez. Rubies are, oh my god, 65 apiece. Wait, can I... Hold on. Sell. Oh. Can I... Where's the sell junk button? Oh. Sell that for 33. All right. Whatever. Fine. So be it. Uh, No one's going to use this. Sell that. Um, all right. This is the junk tab, so there's a bunch of garbage in there that I got. Oh, look! 900 gold! Look at that! <laughs> okay, well... So be it. Alchemical stasis mix. I mean, I've got seven of those. Ah, yes. How about that? Well... <laughs> uh, let's see. You know, I'm curious. If that applies stasis to enemies, and you have the stasis bonuses, does does the stasis from this affect that? Hmm. Very curious. Well then, I can now afford to purchase this gigantic murdery mace. But as with everything, honestly, I want to go more balanced. I want one of these great steel war hammers. But wait, this is unmodified. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Am I being deceived? I believe I. I believe this is just genuinely better. Hmm. Difficult to understand. Oh, that's a tough one. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Okay, so this one has 2% better fury generation. I don't actually want to pay that much. This is hands down the better weapon. This does, like, 30 points more damage. Well, okay, so 54 to... 54 to 38. 
that's going to be what? 16 point difference? Or is that a 30 point physical damage difference? Ooh. You know, I'd say that that's almost an identical trade. So it's really what you prefer, right? It's really what you prefer. If you prefer to have a little bit more balance to your your uh, armor damage, etc., then that's probably what you want to have. You want to have something that's a little more uh, balanced out. So Vasco wants more help. I get you, Vasco. Trust me, brother. I do. I feel for you, my man. I really, really honestly do. <laughs> You've had so much tension. Why are you so needy? Vasco, please. All right. I'm going to upgrade this with... Uh, which one's better? Okay, there's... The <laughs> oh, God. I don't know if I like the look of that. What's this? Ooh. Yeah, I like that one. I still like that better. That's just... It just looks better, all in all. And then down here in the bottom, we get the, uh... Yeah, the Grand Steel Ring. I, you know... <laughs> that's a 112 damage upgrade with a pretty large armor damage increase as well. Or a very slight, sorry, a very slight armor damage decrease. Correction. So we do over 100 more damage, but we do a little bit less armor damage. And higher stun and everything. You can't, you can't go wrong with that. That's, that's perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. Uh, what, are, what was I, oh yes. My Warrior King's Gauntlets. There we go. And then we've got to get Vasco back. I know the team is full. I wanted you to remove one at random. All right. Here we go. Back to Hickman. It is time to go and see... Uh, this person. The leader of Hikmet, we need to go and see... To get the the goods, the goods and services trading between the natives and these fine people. Hello there, King Man, dude. I got a proposal for you. Your Excellency, Lord Dusade, and to what do I owe this honor? I met Ulan, the Bone Blower's clan chief, from the village of Vignamri. He is an open-minded man who holds great expectations of exchanges with the colonies. He would like to meet you to discuss a treaty, even an alliance. Ulan, you say? I have never heard mention of this name, but to finally have an ally among the natives could only be beneficial. That is excellent news. Still, I fear that I cannot leave the city. That would be taking too much of a risk. I doubt that Ulan will come to Hikmet. He is looking for an alliance, but he is not desperate. Such a gesture would be considered a sign of weakness by his clan. That is understandable, I suppose. Do they grasp the concept of emissaries? Do you think that solution might work? I think that might be possible. I'm sure he would understand that you could not come to see him in person for the same reason. Excellent. Finally, some clear skies in our negotiations with the natives. My right-hand man will then go to this village to finalize an agreement with King Ulan. I'll be there too, to make sure everything goes according to our plans. There is another matter concerning the same village that I would like to bring to your attention. A wandering merchant, a member of Ulan's clan, is being kept in your outpost. Can you authorize his entry into the city? I see no harm in that. This merchant is certainly not a threat to us, and he might even prove useful if the negotiations with his clan should take a foul turn. Here, please be so kind as to give him this letter of passage. If he presents it to the guards, they will let him in and he'll be able to establish his stall in town. I thank you. I hope to see you again. I have to go. Look forward to seeing you again. Farewell, my lord. Fantastic. Thanks, guy. It's always good when people just cooperate and give me the stuff that I want when I want it. 
Because then I don't have to fight them over it. Also, I think one of the next missions that we may undertake will be the missions for these folks here to hopefully hopefully avoid missing out on getting our next companion until way later in the game. Because I'd really like to get them The camp in the woods is much closer to this. Whoa. Uh, we want to hopefully get our newest companion or the, the final companion. I don't know if it's actually the final companion. I can't remember how many different companions you get throughout this game. But I want to make sure that we get as many of them as possible and in a timely manner. Please, help me. Just keep walking, Renaixe. This does not concern you. Have mercy. They will kill me. I am but a merchant who wishes to trade with the big city. Hmm. I never thought I would see several Islander warriors attacking a mere merchant. And I thought honor and righteousness were of the utmost importance in your culture. <laughs> I must have been mistaken. What are you trying to say, Renaixe? Are you insulting us? You're insulting yourselves by behaving this way. He's an unarmed man. He's trying to survive. What honor is there in attacking him? He is a traitor. He deserves to be punished. But you are right. He is not worth attacking. Let's leave. His punishment will come once we have chased the Renaixe away, and he cannot sell his products. Adlo Reda on Almanawi. May the trees along your path always bear fruit. Think nothing of it. Ulan told me that you were not able to enter the town. It is true. The soldiers did not let me enter. They left me outside. And the Donea Exdragao took advantage of this opportunity to attack me. Rest assured, I have obtained permission for you to enter from the governor of Hikmet, which should allow you to set up your stall in the city. At Loreda Renaixi. Thanks again. Farewell, merchant. Perhaps we will meet again. Later, fella. All right, so now we got to go. And we got to go back over here to our, our little... Uh, Camp in the forest. Stomp, 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 stomp. All right. Oh, yeah. We want to go over to here. I think that's where the other companion is, if I'm being honest. So maybe that'll be next episode. Maybe that'll be next episode. As we go over and we... Uh, have a little search through that camp hopefully finding our last companion if we're lucky if we're lucky if not we just find a continuation and eventually through following that thread we will get our new companion open this up guy here Ulan I see that the governor of Hikmet's emissary is already here he is and I am very thankful that you succeeded in organizing this meeting. I am full of hope for the future. We are very grateful as well, Your Excellency. However, if you could leave us, I am sure you can understand that the discussion we are about to have must remain confidential. Naturally. I hope that you will reach an agreement. Okay, so we have to wait out here for two hours. So it appears that each second is a minute or something along that. Either one to two seconds is a minute. Can I just wait until that's... Fourteen hours is the minimum I can rest? 
Don't know that I necessarily want that, but okay, I'll wait for the dusk. Ask how the meeting. They waited an additional <laughs> 12 hours for me to come back. <laughs> he just needed a small nap. Just a quick 12 hour nap. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right, sure. All right. So, have you reached an agreement? Our discussions were very fruitful. However, we are faced with a problem. Really? Our peace treaty depends on the ability to exchange freely. And Chief Ulan has warned me that our merchants would be at risk of being attacked by the neighboring clan. Mordun, the chief of the village of Igugsob, is a Danea Exregal. He is among those who think that the people of your island are only here to take from us. But his village would also benefit from this agreement. If you could convince him to meet us, we could reach an understanding, allowing the caravans to pass through his territory. Without this, I am afraid we would not be able to make a commitment. Peace and trade are linked. If our merchants risk their lives coming here... We am sure that you will manage to convince him that the Renaixe are not all bad. I can try, at least. At Reda. We will wait here and hope that you will manage to reason with him. Well, I certainly shall try. I shall certainly try. Mr. Mr. Dude Man Guy. Oh. Hey, what do you know? Right where we wanted to go. Maybe we get two birds, one stone. Maybe, just maybe, we don't have to worry about any extra business there. The Veil of the Great Battle. The valley is vast. We should get to a vantage point if we want to find this expedition. Uh, yeah. And then some. Wow, that's a lot of different types of fungus there on that tree. Okay, so we got a little bit off to the right there. We've got a big thing over here. That's where the expedition camp is. There's a camp area up there, though. Get that all established. So we've got that. Oh. Oh my gosh, the regular swings from this are as strong as the the heavy attacks from the old weapon. This thing's crazy good. Absolutely amazing. Let's get this camp established, and then we'll head off towards... Wow, five, five camps? That's a lot of camps. That's a lot of space. Wow. Okay. Not sure what I'm going to do with five whole camps, but, you know, hopefully there's a lot of things in this area to discover. I'm going to kind of push, though, for uh, this meeting. We want to kind of get there, get this meeting underway. Oh, hi. Oh, wow. There you go. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Bella. Enough out of you. Man, we are just butchering these things now. Those were giving us a problem not too long ago, but not anymore. Hey, I found loot. Glad to see you, my friend. I intend to prove to the Admiral that I fully identify as a knot once more. Without regrets, I will have to go through a test of loyalty. Oh. It will certainly be dangerous. But with your help, I am convinced that I will succeed. So, 
Shall we go and see her? Not right now. It would be my pleasure, but I'm too busy at the moment. Later, maybe. Did you want anything else? No, just... I must leave you. I'm certainly not trying to romance you, my friend. I appreciate the potential offer there, but... No, I... I'm good. I'm good. I believe that our romance target will be... I know that our companion from the, uh... Hikmet area is a female probably go that route hey there guys what's going on hello I'm not here to make trouble I'm just here to have a little chit chat with your leader don't worry about me I'm just gonna walk through your entire village completely uninterrupted and go talk to the people up at the top knock knock what are you doing here and I say your coin are not welcome in my village Ulan the king of Vignamri wants to establish a trade agreement and sign a peace treaty with the governor of Hikmet this sounds like something he would do all he ever thinks about is picking up the crumbs left behind by the Renaixe. All of that in hope of breeding new life into his village, while insulting the memory of the deceased men and women who lived there. Hikmet's emissary will only sign if their merchants can move freely and in peace. They want to meet you. I am not like him. I am a Donea ex regal. A proud man, not a slug. The Renaixe cannot be trusted. They are deceitful and only seek to trap us. You know, my man, you might be right. But I'm gonna let my girl talk to you. Siora? Mordun, you know me. I know the cost of war. My village has paid for it dearly. But do you not think that this is a time we made peace? Or at least a time we listened to what Ulan and the Emissary have to say? If your mother could see you, daughter of Vladnid, how can you defend the Rhaenaixe? I understand your reluctance, Mordun. People from the continent have not given you much reason to trust them. Yet I promise you it is just a meeting, nothing more. If what they offer you does not suit you, you will be free to refuse and come back here, unhindered. Are you willing to swear on the name of your ancestors, Renaixe? Yes, I swear. Fine. I will meet Ulan and his emissary. But I will not go to his village. Tell them to find me at Lambristel. I will be there in a few hours. I will tell them right away. Thank you, Mordun. I'm going. I'm going. Get on my way. I've got business to get to. I never thought you would be able to convince Mordun. His anger towards the Renaixe is so strong. Yeah, but I mean, I'm a silver-tongued devil. All right. I, I could I could talk the pants off someone while they're still wearing them. All right, I'm that good. I don't think you understand. Whoops! I walked right into a loading screen. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> oh well, got stuff to do. Hey guys. Mordun is willing to meet you at Lanristal to sign a peace treaty. You really are an accomplished negotiator and diplomat, Your Excellency. I knew you would succeed. Thanks to you, the whole region will be at peace. Do you know where this place is, Ulan? Of course. In our language, Lan Ristel means Glade of Promises. It is a sacred place, one whose peacefulness must be respected. It bodes well. In that case, we should go there at once. Yes, I will follow you, 
Come back to see me soon. And if luck is on our side, we will celebrate peace together. You're darn right, my dude. Strangely. I do not trust him. I suddenly feel the urge to go to Lanrestal. I hear it looks wonderful this time of year. And if we want to see this encounter, we should leave now. You bet. There we go. Well, where is Lanrestal? Oh, it's that one. Okay. Uh... Hold on, can we get like just a couple hours quick travel or quick time? I don't want to, I don't want to use a lot, but I don't want to. 10 hours. Oh, I'm going to chance it. No, gosh, dang it. Erg, I didn't want to do it. I hate to do it. But. I'm gonna do this. I hate to do it. I do, I do. But I do not want to lose out on that just because I didn't have the, I guess because I had the patience to wait it out. So we're gonna go and attend these here negotiations. You know, I think I made the same mistake last time. I'm pretty sure when I went through on Expert, I did so kind of on an Iron Man mode, so I didn't actually... I didn't do any, like, save jumping or anything. I just played it straight, beginning to end. Which is a great way to play the game, honestly. Committing to every choice and every action is perfectly fine, but there's some things that are a bit of a learning curve like this, where they're like, oh, well, you've got five hours and 20 minutes to do the thing. And whoa, 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 hold up, what's happening here? What are you guys doing? You guys made a big mistake, donk. I don't know who you think you are. That was a mistake. I never should have made. Thank you for coming. You saved me. You kept your promise. I never thought I would ever meet an honorable Renaixe. I'm really sorry. I never thought they would dare do such a thing. Dadakar Sedulan. I should have known he would betray us both. My men are dead. And now I am injured. He achieved exactly what he wanted in the end. I will have to join another clan if I do not want my whole village to suffer the consequences of my defeat. I'm sorry, Mordun. I really am. You were deceived, just like I was. Sometimes, among the stones, there can be snakes. Farewell, on Almanawi. And do not let yourself be betrayed again. All right, well, now it's time to go and mess up Ulan. You stab me in the back, I'm gonna hit you in the face with my hammer. And that's about how it's gonna roll. Cause, uh, I don't take kindly to being betrayed. I don't like when people double talk. Not about it. You say you're gonna do something, do it. Be honest. Be straightforward. None of this business, all the the, the double speak and the uh, sneaky sneaky business here. Yeah, betraying your people, your beliefs, your everything. Nah, that's not it. All in the name of a of a quick buck. No thanks. I'm too much of a, an altruist for that. Come here, Alon. 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna introduce you to the Bonkeronius Prime. Actually, no, we have a new hammer. Bonkeronius Prime has been retired. Traitor. This meeting was meant to establish peace, and yet you have exclusively sent armed men. Mortun was a Danea ex regal. He would have never accepted an agreement with the Renaig Say. He would have endlessly attacked our merchants and our allies' caravans. We had to protect ourselves if we were to make these exchanges possible. So we did. By lying and manipulating me. I am sorry, but I was unsure that you would agree to help us if I told you the truth. I understand your anger, but keep in mind that we are now at peace, thanks to you. You are now a Karans of Ignamri, and should you seek it, you will always have our assistance. Anything else? I don't know, man. It seems Nothing. like you're full of I'm crap. <laughs> seems like you're totally full of crap. I don't know if I want your allies, or you as my allies. If you're the kind of backstabbers that are just gonna double speak me and go behind you know, the agreement with, uh, with, uh, with fighters. No way. That's not it, man. That is not it. You know what it is, though? That is all the time that I've got for this episode. I want to thank you all so much for watching. And I hope you have a wonderful remainder of your day. In the next episode, we'll be picking up uh, a new mission of some sort yet to be determined. We'll figure that out in the next episode as well. Until then, my friends, take care of yourselves, be good to each other, and keep moving forward. I'll see you in the next episode.